Back. We're in for a busy rest of the day. You know, our temperatures are going to continue to climb slowly uh, to near 50 degrees. We're almost there in some locations, but you know, this is warmer than normal for February. Not as warm as it was yesterday afternoon, but it's still going to be pretty mild for this part of the year. But this is ahead of a chance of rain and the rain will arrive with warmer air. And you can see the storm tracker. We're mostly dry at this moment, but you can see what's happening. Cloud cover is starting to become more significant out here to the west, starting to move in, starting to become widespread. Now down to the south, we do have some light sprinkles, but you know, more rain showers are going to arrive from the south and continue to gain some strength as they pass through here. And afterwards, very strong winds are going to take over once these rain showers clear out. Now a high wind watch, a step up from a wind advisory we usually see has been preemptively issued for the majority of the Wabash Valley. All the counties highlighted in this darker color. And even if you're not in one of these counties, you can see down to the southeast. That's still a wind advisory. It's still going to be very windy throughout the day tomorrow. And you can see our future cast showing you what I'm talking about with these rain showers moving in all part of the same very windy system. And you can see the rain showers moving this afternoon. Now so far today we are going to stay you know, relatively calm when it comes to the wind. The, the main impact is going to be heavier rain at times. So this is around seven. 7 to 8, 8 to 9. Again, this gains some strength. Heavier rain starts to take over. And, you know, on the other side of this is going to be slightly cooler air. But, you know, the whole time this is passing through here, warmer air is moving in. And our temperatures tonight are actually just going to rise all night rather than drop like they typically would. And you can see we're, you know, we have some heavier rain associated with this, perhaps some stronger winds. But our temperatures are going to climb and maybe a few rumbles of thunder flashes of lightning as this passes through here. And this is around one, one to two, two to three. Pay attention to where these showers, thunder showers are going. They're going to the north. That means they're being pushed in by warmer air. And that's why our temperatures are just going to continue to climb throughout most of the night. Now this is early tomorrow morning, five through about six. This all starts to move out and this is when the winds are really going to start to pick up some speed and we're going to see very strong wind gusts, potentially up to 50 miles an hour. Now on top of that, you know, we're going to see temperatures climb very quickly over the course of the night tonight and then they're just going to cool off all day. And with these stronger winds that we're about to see, it's not going to be very comfortable. So you can see where these winds pick up strength. This is around 3 a.m. Look what happens. Winds gust up to 40 miles an hour as high as 50 miles an hour in some locations. This is a, a future cast prediction of where these wind gusts are going to go and you can see how strong they get throughout most of the day. This is lunchtime, lunchtime through five. Again, these winds start to calm down finally. So tonight before you go to bed, any loose objects, yard decorations outside, you're probably going to want to bring them inside. We're going to see rain showers move in late tonight. That's going to continue and we're going to see showers, maybe thunder showers, a possibility with this. Very breezy though. Temperatures climbing to around 60 early. Don't be fooled by that. That's going to be very early in the morning and then all day long. We're going to cool off with these strong winds and our seven day forecast shows the result of this much cooler conditions, at least to begin.